Ok, guys, I'm here today. Fabio Gurgel, huge honor for me. Guys, Fabio was my instructor, is my instructor, and he's the founder of Alliance. And we are here filming one week after the Alliance uh, just won the 13 world title by teams at IBGF. And uh, Fabio is also four times world champion in Jiu Jitsu in the black belt and the one who has made the biggest amount of black belt world champions in the history of Jiu Jitsu. So, super happy to be here with you again, Fabão. My pleasure, man. I don't. And pleasure to, to be here. Thank you. And uh, guys, Fabio just shot an entire instruction all about back attacks. And today he's going to show us here one of his favorite positions, which is a crucifix from the turtle. So, all right. Let's, do it. let's check it out. Uh, so, the idea is the first thing you need to pay attention when you get this position, when my opponent is 04, is bringing the knee between his knee and his elbow, right? So that's the, the first uh, uh, thing that I need to pay attention in order to position myself correctly. Uh, this knee avoid him to recompose the guard. If I'm stay away with my leg like this, it would be very easy to Bernardo to recompose the guard, just putting the leg up and boom. I will be inside his guard. So when I have my leg between, so if Bernardo tried to do that again, I'm gonna land in his cross side mount because there's no space for him to recompose the guard, right? That's the reason we have this knee in the mirror at the first place. But now, what I'm gonna try to, to do is start attacking Bernardo from here, right? So I can go for the clock choke, but of course, Bernardo's gonna try to block and defend, and of course, he's gonna protect his neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer Bernardo's weight to this elbow over here. So at this point, if I try to catch this elbow, it's gonna be hard because he can move, he can take the elbow out, he can do whatever he wants, right? So it's hard to control the elbow if he's able to move his, and shift the weight to one side and other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my hands this way and I'm gonna bring him up like this. So what I'm saying is all his weight now is on the elbow that I'm gonna manage with my leg. And then it's much easier for me to catch the arm and bring him back. As I'm bringing him back, I control the shoulder and I have the arm right there to squeeze the arm or I can switch and go to the regular crucifix. So, Fabão, you, you pretty much set up the whole position controlling this arm with the hand to hand. Yeah, I put the hand to hand and the idea is as I'm bringing the weight towards this elbow, you cannot really fight to Got take it. this amount, Got right? It. So, and you don't have, it's, it's a fight. Yeah, all my weight is on my right See? elbow now. And yeah. then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide my knee that way, which means that all my weight is pushing your elbow upward like this. I got it, yeah. See? Yeah. So it's a very uncomfortable position for you. Try to move your arm, it's gonna be hard, right? Probably one of my, yeah, you and your knee can follow up. Yeah, okay, I, just, I, I just follow you because yeah. you are on top of my lap. Yeah. And then I just hook the arm and pull you back instead of rolling. So it's much safer for me to control this way. I agree. Yeah, there are, I don't know how many times I have seen people like rolling from the turtle to get the crucifix and then they end up on bottom exactly. and it's everything, everything goes. That's the problem because you can go like a kataguruma style and get my cross side mount if I try to roll forward. You know, I'm not saying that's wrong, but I, be, I believe that's much safer for you if you just sit backwards, you know, and you, you, you keep the position, you still have the arm to attack yeah. Yeah. or you can turn and just press the shoulder behind the neck and go straight for the choke. Got it. Oh, Fabio, and I'm seeing more and more people, especially on Nogi, using this type of grip here to open the armor to get the back or, mm -hmm. or a lot of options. Yeah, I think I think it's strong because you can use the leverage that you create with your forearm. So in this situation that we just did, what I'm doing is I have my forearms against your neck. So I'm controlling your, your head. Right. Yeah, at, at the same time, I support. That's a leverage that I need to pull your shoulder upward. Yep. So there's no way for you to yeah, move. There's nowhere for me to go. Then I'm gonna start sliding my knee towards your elbow in order to open your arm even more. Yes. So it's, it's very uncomfortable, and I'm not doing anything. It's like very comfortable position for me. I just step over and get your arm and catch catch your arm. And yeah. then. 
you go for the crucifix, or even if you prefer to, to attack the arm, you can yes, attack the arm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, that's like, incredible. Like Marcel does a lot, right? Yep. Every time he he gets your arm with the legs, he's gonna test your arm first before yep. you go to the neck. Oh, Fabio, and you, you pretty much like catch the Jiu Jitsu from beginning to end. So I think like in, in the past, anytime someone was in the turtle position, the option was to take the back. It is, but as you start, because that's the thing, go, go on the turtle again. If I, if I go with this knee in the middle, it yep. means I'm facing your, your head and your neck. So from I here, it. I can attack you. Got right, it. you have the clock choke since yep. the beginning. Clock choke was there. Yep, yeah, right? yeah, right. Yep. So it's a very common. Then crucifix also pretty old, but rolling forward, right? I so you have you have attacks when you put the knee between the elbow and the and the and the knee. If you switch to the other knee, that means that I'm facing your leg, so then I'm gonna try to work towards putting the hooks. I got it. Right. I got it. So you have uh, two different. Uh, ways to position yourself okay. and one one is more offensive in terms of attack of and submission of submission and the other one is more about control how I can okay. get the back okay. if I'm facing there there's no way for me to put the hooks I okay. right so I think borderline if the outside knee comes in you're going towards the back exactly if the inside knee comes in now you're going towards submissions I'm going to and... submissions yeah oh that's incredible so, so basically you have these two types of positioning Right, the first one you go for the attacks. The second one you go for the control. Got it. You know, because even though you try, if I put this knee, the outside knee in the middle, and you put the leg up, then I need to jump, but I, I I'm still fighting for the control to put Got the it. hooks in. Got it. Right, and uh, and the other way you go straight for the neck or for the arms, you go for the attacks or submission. No, that makes sense. Oh, for boy, and all these instructions that you shot this week, you were really focused on explaining the why behind every situation, right? Not, not only like showing the move and... Yeah, I think that what uh, people really need to understand is the concept. Because okay. we see different games, different styles, and we need to respect that that's the evolution, right? Okay. I, uh, I cannot say, hey, Bernardo, do this in the way that I do, yep. you know? I can tell you, look, this is the right thing to do. That's the, the leverage that you need to use. Yep. Find the best way for you, Got it. right? So you you create a foundation where you can build any type of game you want. Got it. What's, what works better for you. you? We have different body types. Yep. So I cannot do what you do and you cannot do what I do, yep. right? But the foundation, the concepts are pretty much the same, Good. you know? So that's why we, we all this series that we film now is all about concepts, oh, yeah. right? So, no, and I think nobody is better than you to teach that because you pretty much took the beginning of Jiu Jitsu mm -hmm. and you're still training the best athletes of the current Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, I, so, I, I think I have seen it all, right? Yeah, all, yeah. all the evolution that we have so far, uh, because of course that, that was Jiu Jitsu before me, yeah. but when I got was. You know, we didn't have that much uh, amount of techniques. You okay. know, it was much more, you know, and and what is effective and what was effective and and is you of course you got some, you know, some positions that evolved during the time when I was doing jujitsu in the beginning, but then I after I got my black belt, jujitsu just exploded. Yeah, you know, uh, uh. there are way more techniques that I learned inside the black belt than before. Okay, that's crazy. Right? Yeah. And how can you connect all those are very important, you know. Okay. You, you need to understand why this comes from. Yeah, you know? yeah. So the understanding is completely different when you get yeah. it. No, and that's what I'm saying. Like you you don't teach only the concepts and the fundamentals, you also teach like the history of yeah. how this position started here and ended up here. Like like we were talking about half guard, right? Like yeah. half guard at some point was just like a path to pass the guard. Exactly. Then it became a sweep. Then came the deep half guard. Then it came like, a, and, I, and I bet like on every position, yeah, like this, turtle, this situation, the position of the knee yep. just came after the recompose of the guard. I got it. Right? I got it. I got it. There was no need to put the knee in. I got it. But then, oh, the, the, the people start to step back and recompose the yep. guard. So how can I yep. avoid that? You stick the knee in. Yeah. You know, and then the the, the, the techniques just evolve from there. No, that's amazing. Yeah, so guys, Fabio just shot an entire structure all about back attacks, doing exactly what you were saying here, like teaching like the concepts, 
the whys and the history of each of that position. So it's coming out very, very good. And it's gonna be at bgjfanatics.com soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Fabio. Thank you, Benedon. Thank you. Pleasure. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.